Good afternoon to all and welcome to our third session for Asia Water 2020 Technology Symposium. I'm Shima, your MC for today. Before we start, there's a few rules that we have to add here. All microphone and video of attendees have been muted. If you have any question, please wait for the Q&A session or do list them down at the Q&A box. If there's any internet disruption during the session, kindly be patient and try to sign in again. In this session, we will have Mr. French Manfred from Hoff Technique to do the presentation. Mr. French Manfred joined Hoff Technique in 2012 as a country manager, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Benelux. He was then appointed as a sales director of Asia Pacific in 2020. Hoff Technique has built has built up a strong partnership with Benelux power utility companies and managed to specify the company's cable and pipe ceiling solution successfully, at the same time supporting customers from nationwide. As of today, Half Techniques has eight strong business partners leading the Asia-Pacific region in countries such as Australia, China, UAE, Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, Vietnam, Taiwan, Cambodia, Myanmar, and Indonesia. In Malaysia, the partnership between Half Technique and IEP Sundurian Berhad has established a strong presence in the country power utility market, specifically with Tenaga, Berhad, Tenaga National Berhad, or known as TNB, by leading several major projects in the past two years. With that, ladies and gentlemen, Let's welcome Mr. French Manfred to do his presentation. Sir, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of Half Technic Complete um, Management Team, I would welcome all the attendees for our webinar, Cost Effective Smart Ceiling Solutions in a Post COVID Building and Construction World. That's a long sentence, so I repeat some of these uh, phrases of words. Cost effective, smart ceiling solutions, post COVID and building and construction world. This is what we're going to talk about in the next 20 minutes. As already explained in the introduction, we are working closely together with our business partner, IEP Industrial Electrical Power, when it comes to mechanical water, gas and drumming tight ceiling systems. Who is Half Technic? Half Technic is one of Europe's leading manufacturers of ceiling systems for cables, pipes, and building entries. We protect buildings from penetrating water, gas, fire, dirt, and vermin. And our innovative solutions guarantee absolute leak tightness, economic efficiency, user friendliness, and durability in all kinds of construction work. From detached houses to various construction services, through to large infrastructure projects such as airports and power stations. Our customers include utility companies, half partners, public utilities, construction and telecom companies, and industrial partners. Yet also architects, planning engineers, and private property developers also rely on our experience and expertise. We offer them all the right solutions to meet their unique challenges, either from our comprehensive product range or custom build. When we talk about smart cities today, um, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, big data, digitization, 5G, and electrical vehicles are really a necessity to build up a smart city. But also, smart city need cost-effective cable and pipe ceiling solutions. If we look at the skyline of our modern cities today, you might say out of a architectural perspective that cities look great. However, if you ever have the opportunity to go in some of the basements in of these cities, you will find out that there is still a lot of work to do when it comes to ceiling and entry systems of cables and pipe running into buildings. A lot of architects, even today, they uh, make themselves a bit easy by uh, planning or integrating a PVC pipe into a wall or leaving a rectangular opening into a wall or ask uh, a wall to be uh, core hold so that later an installer can come 
bring his pipes or cables through the wall and try to seal it off in the best way he can. Unfortunately, you will all uh, experience that in uh, the past, this kind of sealing methods always uh, results in a lot of water ingress and a high cost of maintenance. Having a proper and effective sealing system in place in any residential, commercial, industrial or in treatment plants and facilities play an important role in today's development. Do you know the impact of improper sealing? Meaning, if you put in a simple PVC pipe, which might seem a very costless uh, uh, startup point, at the end it becomes a very expensive one. All building structures require an effective sealing system to protect and prevent from water, gas, fire, dirt and vermin penetration. And the impact of maintenance cost is enormously. Through my job, I had the ability to talk with a lot of maintenance managers or CEOs of utility companies and I always asked them what is the budget that you spend on maintenance to get water and vermin out of your buildings. They all look down and start to cry very hard because these maintenance costs run into the billions and billions of rigid every year. If you would focus on digital innovation to drive change, and prepare for new opportunities in the post-pandemic building and construction world, you might end up with half Technic as your partner for entry systems and ceiling systems. By the way, did you know that half Technic in Germany is amongst the top innovators uh, during more than 10 years in the small and medium-sized companies? We are in the top 10 during 10 years in a row. And we are also, of course, a top employer for our employees after this presentation, you might end up to go to our website, www.halftechnic.com, and you have to take a look at our solution world. In this solution world, you will be guided through a number of projects which facilitate you uh, how to use what kind of entry system and ceiling system for each specified project, whether it's for high-rise building structures or power plants or biogas or sewage treatment plants or drinking water reservoirs or shaft structures. Everywhere there is a solution. Let's say you want to start up as an engineer, as a designer, to build up a shaft structure where your cable ducts or your cables run in and you want to seal them permanently. In this case, you go to shaft structure, you click on cable duct and you will end up with a nice picture which I enlarge now for you. In this picture, you can see our solutions and the connection of the cable ducts already. If you can scroll down into our website, you will find our product for this solution, which is a single wall insert with a plug-in socket, in this case for a pipe OD of 160 millimeter. Not only the information of the product you will get, but you will get also at the same time installation instructions, test reports, data sheets, and tender specifications, meaning even the specification for your tender is already being prescribed in our website. Most of the, what we call PPVC, prefabricated, pre-finished volumetric construction that is used in Malaysia and Singapore is manufactured in Johor Bahru. Johor Bahru is a Malay state uh, near to the border of Singapore where a lot of precasters are situated. Asian construction companies are increasingly keen to adopt to what they call DFMA, Design for Manufacturing and Assembly, to reduce dependency on foreign workers. Not only reduce the dependency on foreign workers, but also reduce on fault risks and high costs. If you are to build up a basement in concrete, whether it's a prefabricated one or whether it's an on-site build, for these applications, we have a number of entry systems ready for you. If you need an entry system for small walls from 70 up to 120, or from 100 up to even one meter, or you need to have a solution where you put in an entry system under a certain angle for an optimum bending radius, or as we saw earlier, that you want to connect a cable duct to your entry system, or you have an entry system needed for a pipe up to 200 millimeter, which is processed, processing for PMBC, which means plastic modified bituminous coatings. 
and we have here also what we call a cement coated wall sleeve this is a pvc pipe with a specific coating on the outside of the pipe this bounce connects uh, with the mortar with the concrete up to five bar and for retrofitting jobs we still have our split fiber cement wall sleeve which you can bring around existing cables or pipes which already run through a building put them into a foam work cast them in and then afterwards you can seal them off properly even for brick basements half technic brings a number of solutions um, in this case you can work with a polymer flange with a surface seal of six millimeter thick of rubber and also of course this uh, flange is uh, processing for pmbc cement coated wall sleeves and fiber cement sleeves can also be used for this brick basement wall entries another variant is concrete basements with waterproofing and pmbc meaning if you have a plastic modified bituminous coating on the outside of the building to prevent your water ingress you can in a pre-designed stage already choose to use a universal wall sleeve with a patch flange which processes the pmbc this can be put also into your formwork and concreted in afterwards you take off the cover you can put on your pmbc run a cable or pipe through it and seal it off properly in another case even if your wall is already uh, foreseen with a pmbc coating you can use a polymer flange with a surface seal which you can directly dowel to that uh, coating without having any loss of the integrity of your wall and of course our standard what we call hsi how snap in entry system we also have their patch flanges which can process pmbc so in a number of cases also for coatings we have a number of solutions here you see a retrofit solution that we did in Australia and of course within 20 minutes I have to go through a lot of information and I want to share with you a bit of uh, the new DIN standards for those who are not acquainted with it um, until June 2017 we had an old standard for construction sealing which was the DIN 18195 from June 2017, this changed in five new sub uh, standards, going from the 18531 up to the 535. The 531 handles the ceiling of roofs. The 532 explains the ceiling of parkings and traffic areas. The 534 goes along, along the ceiling of interior spaces. And the 535 uh, talks about the ceiling of containers and basins, swimming pools. But a very specific new one is the 18533, sealing of underground earth contacting components. And this I have to repeat again. So sealing of underground earth contacting components. So in all cases, we are in the soil, underground or in the concrete, and you have to run a cable, a pipe through a wall. There is a specific new DIN standard, which explains how to bring your seal properly around these cables and pipes another thing which comes along is and which might have a misunderstanding in a lot of um, let's say uh, engineering drawings that i see is when a cable a pipe is running from outside underground and has an earth contacting components there is no fire resistance needed and the simple uh, truth about this is a fire can only exist if there are three elements available and this is a combustible product this is an ignition and oxygen in the soil in the ground there is no oxygen if one of the three elements is not there there cannot be a fire once the cable runs into the building through another wall or going to a higher level floor level there a fire resistant product is needed so here you see another schematic design of the five new sub DIN standards which we apply. When we go a bit more deep into the DIN 18533, then we see that we have the 533 part one, which goes about water exposure class W1.1 and the W1.2. There you can see that we have basements, 
uh, let's see, houses where there is no basement, sorry, and where the highest flood level is lower than 50 cm under the base plate of the house. In the 1.2, you can have what we call a utility basement of about 50 cm, where you can bring in your sewage, your uh, power, your telecom, um, and all your utilities. And these are already foreseen in what we call the PMBC, the coatings. Uh, there we have a specific standard as well for groundwater up to three meter, which is pressing water, or even flood level water up to three meter, which is pressing water. And we have, of course, within the 18.533 part one, the 2.2 E, the groundwater flood level for more than three meter pressing water. Along with these standards, we also have the waterproof concrete stress class one and two. We have the stress class one for pressing, non pressing water and occasional standing seepage water, and the stress class two about non standing seepage and soil moisture. Why do I show these standards to you? I hereby declare that all our entry systems, all our sealing systems used today, are all applicable according to these standards. They're all being tested according to the new DIN standard and to the waterproof concrete stress classes one and two. In the very beginning of our presentation, I said we're going to talk about smart and cost-effective sealing solutions. What is then so smart about our solution? First of all, you have a seal here which seems to be a closed seal. We, do you know that with a half seal, you can even make it an open seal by just cut it open, bring it around a pipe, bring it into a core hole and close it. We have also an installation control, which is in fact a hole into our pressure plate. Once you start up to torque your complete seal, the pressure goes in every direction with the same force and comes out this opening here, which I show you. Once you feel with your finger that the rubber is flush with the bottom of your pressure plate, you reached your pressure. So no torque key control needed. Another smart solution that we integrated next to the integration of the torque key is the segmented ring technology. Pipes from 18 millimeter up to 252 millimeters we can easily seal with our segmented rings and with our integrated torque key. For bigger pipes, and I mean pipes, 300, 500, 600, one meter pipes, we have what we call our modular seals. And also with our modular seals, we have our smart solution through our integrated uh, torque key control. Here we have pressure plates with windows. Once you torque up your uh, pressure plates, the windows, they start to change color and they go from grayish up to completely yellow. Optical, you have directly a view on the construction site that your seal has been sealed uh, permanently. Along with that, we have also caged nuts, which are integrated into the pressure seal, so no loose parts, nothing can drop during installation, which um, saves time and money on the construction site. Even for the cable ceilings, we have a, sp a number of smart solutions, which are what we call our segmented rings in a flip-flop, right-left uh, integration, and we have indication of the diameter ranges per uh, segment for the contractor, easy to cut off the segments according to the diameter of the cables. Next to our standard seals, we have also a number of what we call SG types. These SG types go from 80 millimeter up to 200 millimeter with a variation of different diameters and segments, uh, which covers normally 85% of your needs. The other 15%, we can make uh, individual uh, customized seals for it. Also for micro pipes and empty conduits, we have special designed seals for you. And for tri-delta cables, which are cables who uh, have more or less a triangle shaped uh, form or shape instead of a round shape, we build up a very specific seal to seal these triangle cables. One of the most important thing is uh, post-COVID, we all need to have data integration. We all need to have a 3D model. Well, Half Technic is BIM ready. 
if you go to our website and you focus on our BIM tool, you can open the BIM tool and you can find four different product groups, which are cable seals, earthings, pipe seals, and wall sleeves. And through the Cadena's platform, our customers, business partner, architects, planners, can download in their preferable software all products from our BIM catalog and integrate in their designs. Whether you embrace digitization to keep your construction business running in the new normal, whether you integrate our HSI half snap in entry system, you can see, and I enlarge it a bit, that you can edit a CAD format. With that CAD format, a list of a number of CAD formats opens, you choose your required format, and you download your file into your drawing. And this not only for our entry system, this is also for our flanges, our pipe seals, cable seals. So instead of in a standard way putting a PVC pipe in a wall, you can now choose to focus on digital innovation to drive the change and prepare for new opportunities in the post-pandemic construction and building world, meaning you can now integrate a professional entry system which is there for a lifetime cycle of a building. Smart cities need smart cable and pipe sealing solutions. And why? Because out of a designer point of view, it's faster and better design, better design coordination and reduced request for information and improved competitiveness. For the contractor, it reduces risks and a lot of reduced reworks, higher accuracy in bidding and more safety. And for the stakeholders, we would say it's the best design outcome for the project, improved cost, time, and quality project goals, more accurate and reliable digital asset information, and enhanced value assets. So more innovation, better communication, higher accuracy, safer operations, improved productivity, on time, on budget, and on spec. Together with our partner IAP, we already realized a number of projects in Malaysia one of them, the Sunway Serene uh, buildings, where we designed a mechanical water sealing, uh, which connects a 160 uh, PVC pipe directly into our entry system. In another construction, we had an RC wall of about 600 millimeters, where we put in our Belmont wall sleeve, this Belmont wall sleeve on both sides, which connects a pipe of 200. On the picture on the right, you can see our fiber cement liner, which we integrated in the formwork to feed through a pipe of 250 millimeter. So a number of these projects are being uh, qualified and tested by uh, Tenaga, TNB. And in the future, we are sure that we will do a lot of more projects with IP and with TNB. So for more detailed information about our smart cost-effective ceiling solutions, please visit our booth in the central hall. I would say for all cable, pipe, building entry, always reliable, always tight, think always half. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the Q&A session. If you have any question, please click on the hand raise function and the organizer will unmute you or you can list your question down on our Q&A chat box. Please make sure introduce yourself and which company are you from, followed with your question. So we will wait for a while for any question. The audience seems quiet. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of information in a short notice, but maybe they can leave their questions later so we can answer them in a separate meeting. Okay, if, if there is no questions, we have come to end our third session today. If you have any other inquiry, please visit Half Technique Virtual Booth in our virtual exhibition hall. So that's all from us. 
once again, thank you and please receive all the time. Thank you. Thank you.